good Saturday morning, everybody. Usually this um, this intro means something bad is about to happen. The Seven Arts, the dreaded Seven Arts era. But no, no, this is this is something to be loved. This is something to be treasured. Senor and the Glass Horace. I love this cartoon. Look at those backgrounds. Holly Pratt outdoes himself. You know, Tom O'Laughlin did the backgrounds. He did a really, he did a really brilliant uh, um, kind of homage to uh, the art style of the the Mexican style at the time. There's just so much going on in this. Holly Pratt does, you know, he's he's not. Holly Pratt is not always. He's not always given the credit uh, he, he deserves. I, I've said before many times that he's kind of Frizz Freeling's um, ghost artist. Um, and that's certainly true, but uh, he's, um, he's... You really get to see what this in this cartoon what he's like on his own without having to, you know, cover for, for Frizz Freeling, so to speak. Um, so... Yeah. Some was bad bugs. They help her with her work. She work all the time. Double time. But yeah, because uh, Frizz Freeling wasn't under any kind of like. Uh, Story I have ever heard. <laughs> Wait a minute. But Frizz really wasn't under any kind of. Uh, he wasn't under any kind of influence, so it was just Holly Pratt. And look at that! Look at look at the design. You know, you there's really if you can't if you can't afford to to make it as as uh, you know it, as move as much as you need to, then you kind of have to make really good drawings and really good use of them and make those make those backgrounds really pop and really sell. And plus, the cartoon's funny. You know the the. The timing on these gags are perfect. Watch. Watch this. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, this is, um... With all the girls in the district. And Jose better pick out the... This is, this is like... This is... They did... The, they, they weren't always doing the Mexican stuff. Justice, really. They kind of they started doing it because of Speedy Gonzalez around this time, but uh, this is under the the, the, the Patty Freeling era. Um, I mean, that opening really does. I mean, I, I will say that the the opening that it with when you see that it's usually it signals you that it's uh, to Patty Freeling. And that the, the budget's going to be low, but it's actually from a really competent cartoon. It's from Chuck Jones's um, ending sequence uh, and the intro sequence from Now Hear This. Uh, and also uh, Bartholomew versus the Wheel. And um, they kind of they kind of cut those those pieces together and they use them now. They use them not now, but they use them in the Seven Arts. <clears throat> the Seven Arts Warner Brothers era. How foxy is Senorella in this stuff? And, and look at those bulls. They don't even... They're just... They're graphically pleasing, and then they figure out how to make them animate later. Uh, this cartoon... This cartoon does everything right with what it has, you know, which is not a lot of money and time. And... and uh, <laughs> I'm, I imagine there is a, a, a Picasso painting somewhere that, that sort of roughly matches Jose's face there. Or something. It just feels so classic. They don't even need to animate them, you know, switch, switching sides. They just click and go to the other side. And it's just, it's just so, it kind of, it kind of reminds you a little bit in the movement of uh, Dover Boys. You know, it's, it's graphically pleasing and it doesn't move much in the, uh, they, you know, I imagine, I know that um, Hotel Transylvania, is that what it's called? The, 
that Adam Sandler movie. They kind of based uh, a lot of the uh, Gendy based a lot of the uh, stuff, uh, the movement and everything on uh, Dover Boys. But I imagine there's some influence from this cartoon as well. <laughs> I also love this gag too, where he he's just going through all of these these gross women, and he's kind of relieved that they don't fit the thing. But then finally he fe- <laughs> he meets the foot that does, and it might be a pig. <laughs> he's like, ah, well, maybe I don't know. Maybe you get some. Ma- oh, there's my baby. <laughs> And the, yeah, this is def. I apologize. Maybe this isn't the time. This is a very heterosexual cartoon. Sad. <laughs> it was not sad. It was a happy story. It's about to get a lot more heterosexual. But what happened to the wicked strop mother? Uh, that's the sad part. I marry her. And that other voice is Tom Holland, by the way. I've always uh, wondered who that is, but they've done some great Mexican voices. See you next week.